Okay, so welcome back to my set series. Today, we'll be learning how to evaluate algebraic expressions. So today, our topic will be relatively easy. No? So we just need to learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions. Okay? So to evaluate algebraic expressions, we just basically substitute the values, okay, so the values assigned to the variables. Okay, so let's do some examples, no? So for example, we have 2x cubed y minus 3x plus 5y minus 7 where x is equal to, let's say, minus 1 and then y is equal to 2. Okay, so again, we just substitute the values, no? So, 2 times x is minus 1, no? So, negative 1 cube. Okay, take note na kasama yung negative na naka-cube. Y is 2 minus 3 times x is negative 1 again. Plus 5 times y is 2 minus 7. Okay, so now we evaluate this. 2 times negative 1 cube times 2, that is negative 4. Negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3. And then, plus 5 times 2, that is 10. Negative 7 is still negative 7. So, if you evaluate this, this will be 2. Okay? So, let's step it up a bit. Okay? Let's say you have 3xy plus 4x minus 2 all over 2xy where x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 10. Okay, so again, we just substitute the values of x, so 3 times minus 3, y is 10, plus 4 times negative 3, minus 2, okay, all over 2 times negative 3, y is 10, okay, so now let's evaluate this, 3 times negative 3 times 10, that will be negative 90, 4 times negative 3, that will be negative 12, minus 2, all over 2 times minus 3 times 10, that will be minus 60. And if you evaluate this, this will be equal to negative 104 all over negative 60. And if, and sa entrance exam, kailangan na ka-lowest terms ito. So, I hope by now you know how to reduce fractions into lowest terms. So, this is equal to 26 all over 15. So, we can apply these into, into word problems, no? So, for example, we know that the perimeter, okay, let's call it P, of a rectangle is 2 times its length plus 2 times its width, okay? So, this is a practical application. And let's say, sinabi sa atin na yung length ay equal sa 12 and yung width equal sa 7. So, to solve for the perimeter of the rectangle, you just plug in the values of L and W. No? So 2 times 12 plus 2 times 7. So 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 7 is 14. So P is now equal to 38. Okay? So useful din to sa mga other formulas like, pinyari, you have an area of the trapezoid. No? So let's say area ng trapezoid is equal to 1 half h times b times b1 plus b2 where h is the height b1 is the base 1 b2 is the base 2 so if b1 is equal to 15 b2 is equal to 20 and the height is equal to 12 so what is now the area of the trapezoid so i will leave this question to you leave your answers in the comments down below and i hope to see you again next time.